Thunderdome Boxing Talk, Anthony here. Okay, in case you don't know, uh, Keith Thurman is now a world champion. Okay, um, and I'm not criticizing <coughs> Keith Thurman on this video, okay, because he didn't even know <coughs> that he became a world champion until Dan Raphael called him and asked him about it. Okay, the WBA, we all know Thurman was the WBA's interim champion, which doesn't mean you're not a champion, it just means you're the number one contender, okay, that he was the number one contender to Floyd Mayweather's WBA welterweight belt, okay, but now he's no longer the number one contender, he's just the world champion, but Floyd Mayweather has that belt, okay, um, yeah, it's he's considered the WBA super champion, but that's just because he's unified with the WBC. Okay, if you unify, uh, you know, a d belts, then they technically they call you their super champion. Okay, the WBA is the worst with all these belts. Okay, so there's like a couple things here. First, it, it also says on their webpage that Thurman won. It says won um, his title on January 16th, 2015. Now, we all know he didn't fight anybody then, okay? <clears throat> so, he didn't win the world title. The WBA gave it to him, and he didn't even know that they gave it to him. Okay, like, the, it, and this is, like, there's a couple things here. First, it has to be, like, bittersweet. Because he's a world champion without ever winning it. And I'm talking about bittersweet for Thurman. Because this would take away... You know, the joy, the excitement of winning his first world championship. Okay, uh, I know he had to want to experience that. You know, because I, I tell you firsthand, when I fought, I didn't, you know, amateur, I didn't want, you know, if I'm fighting, if I was fighting a 135 lightweight or 132 amateur lightweight. Uh, I'm sorry, I get my professional, my, I'm always talking professional weight classes, I get them mixed up. Uh, you know, I wouldn't want to have just been given a trophy, okay, or a ribbon around my neck. I, I would have wanted to win it, okay, and I'm sure Keith Thurman wanted to experience that joy of winning his first world championship, and they kind of kind of took it away from him. You know, yeah, he if he wins another title down the line, um, you know, he'll get to experience it then, but will it be the same? You know, I don't know. I guess in his heart and in his mind, you know, he would know it's his first, so he would probably feel that excitement, but I don't think it would be the same because, you know, he's going to get called world champion a lot up until he wins that fight, you know, because Guerrero's not a champion. Now, He's going to, so he never won a world championship, but he's going to enter this ring uh, against Guerrero as the WBA's world champion. If, why didn't, if they wanted to, I know why they did it. I mean, we all know they did it for sanctioning fees, okay? Because, you know, I checked with Kent Air, uh, Kent, you know, he's getting, uh, if, he, if he's getting, I asked if they had to pay sanctioning fees on the interim belt, even though you're a number one contender. He believes, yes, he does. Okay. And, you know, Floyd is obviously, you know, we know he brags sometimes that he doesn't have to pay sanctioning fees, but I've heard him say that about the WBC. I never heard him say that about the WBA, so I don't know. He probably does, but either way, they're going to give someone else that interim spot. You know, it's probably going to be Amir Khan since he's number two. Um... You know, so that goes from getting two sanctioning fees to now they're going to be getting three sanctioning fees because they'll have the interim, they'll have the world, and the, you know, the super, um, which is bullshit. You know, it's straight bullshit. WBA is the worst with these titles, you know. Um, but how does this happen? And another thing is, let, just, let's just play a game here. What if Floyd Mayweather fought somebody for, you know, fought his WBC mandatory, 
okay, and only put the WBC 147-pound title on the line. And what if he lost that title? Okay, then he would only be the welterweight, the WBA welterweight world champion. But then Keith Thurman would at the exact same time be the WBA world champion. You'd have two guys holding the exact same belt. Now we know, yeah, yeah, I know, Floyd is never going to fight somebody um, and lose just one of them belts. He'll probably either lose them both or none of them, you know. Uh, so you can argue that, well, that's a scenario that's not likely to happen. But, you know, it could, you know, and what if, how are you going to have two guys basically holding the same belt? And if they wanted, if they wanted to give someone else, like, the, uh, a regular just world champion belt and not the super, why, why not make, uh, like, the number one and two guy fight in a, va you know, a vacant title fight, <clears throat> or since Guerrero's the number one uh, mandatory for the belt, and it's not looking like he's going to get a shot at Floyd anytime soon, uh, why not make him and Guerrero uh, a vacant title fight? You know, they, they could have at least done that, but they just gave this guy a title, a world title, okay? Um... I mean, this is the same belt that, you know, Floyd Mayweather has. Except it's just not tight and it's called super because he's not unified. You know, what happens if Guerrero goes and unifies with Kell Brook? You know, then he would be a WBA super champion. You know, because he's unified. Um... I can't, and you know that's a fight that they were even talking about. So that that's a possible scenario there. Uh, you know, if he goes and fights Kell Brook and wins, and he got the WBA World Champion and the IBF World uh, Championship, boom, he's got the exact. He's the same thing as Mayweather. They're both WBA Super Welterweight Champions. You know, it don't. It makes no sense. You know, um, Gilberto Mendoza is the uh, head president of the WBA. Uh, thank you, Kent. Shout out to you for that info. Um, you know, this guy is apparently, you know, uh, is greedy as any other president of any of these other sanctioning bodies. Um, it, all these belts, you know, the WBA is just terrible with these belts, but this is strictly for sanctioning fees. It's all about money, okay? Um, and I, I guess they figured this is a way to get three sanctioning fees in a division, you know? So I can't understand it. You know, I... I you know, I feel for Keith Thurman because uh, they kind of took away, you know, like I said, the joy, excitement uh, that he's going to get for winning his first world championship. Um, which I find crazy that they just made him world champion also and didn't even tell him, you know, uh, what, he's a world champion that he didn't even have a belt, you know, because like I said, he didn't find out till Dan Raphael told him. And when Raphael went to call him and ask him, like, hey, what's up with you uh, getting handed this title? You know, and I can't understand it. Did it happen, you know, so the Guerrero fight could somehow be a title fight? Um, if that was the case, like I said, just make it a vacant title fight. You know, uh, is it... These sanctioning bodies, you know, just when you want to give them a little bit of credit for starting to do a couple things good, you know, like hooking up with VADA or, you know, forcing mandatory defenses. They go and, you know, the WBA ain't, ain't doing none of those, by the way. That, that's the WBC and, you know, the uh, IBF, you know, even the WBO a little bit, but not as much. Uh but the WBA, I, I don't give them any credit or the ever. But this is another reason why, you know, this is crazy. Crazy. They just gave a guy a title. And they say he won the title. 
Like, it, it's out of control. It, it is. It's out of control. Um, and they only elevated him. You know, all he was was the number one challenger. Okay? It's not like he was deserving of a shot at Mayweather. For sure. He's been for like two years now. But that doesn't mean he's, like, you should just give him a belt. You know, if the WBA wanted to do something, they should have said, hey, you either fight Thurman or vacate, you know, uh, you know, and if they wanted to put no roadblocks in the way of the Pacquiao fight, they could have said, if you don't fight Pacquiao, then you have to fight Thurman or vacate, you know, but they did nothing like that. They didn't even make Thurman win it in a vacant title fight. They just gave a title to somebody, you know. Like, I don't know, man. This is crazy. This is the shit that, you know, drives real boxing heads crazy. And it, and it actually, like, you know, back, we used to have eight champions, you know, eight champions. There was eight divisions. You know, you had eight champions. You knew who those eight champions were. You know, there was eight champions in the whole world. Okay, now we have 17 divisions. Okay, we used to have eight, now we have 17 divisions. And we, they, we, so we should technically just have 17 champions throughout the world now. But no, when you really look at it, there's over 100 champions in the world now. And that's why, like, boxing can, you can be looked over. Or, you know, like, people don't give a shit about the sport. You know, it used to mean something when you were the champ. You know, because you were the champ. Now fucking everybody's a champion. Or an ex-champion. You know, uh, uh, it's it's ridiculous. You know, there's... Like I said, over a hundred. When there used to be eight. You used to know every single name of all eight champions. You know, you can't name... You know, I don't care how big of a boxing head you are. You cannot name... Um, all, all the guys who hold titles right now. It's, imp it's impossible. You can't unless you're like a, a whiz. You know, it's you're just not gonna be able to do it. You know, um, this is wild. I mean, it, and I want to know it now. Is is this Thurman Guerrero fight? Is it a championship fight? I don't know. You know, don't know. You know, I would think it should be right. You know, but who knows? Uh. I mean, Guerrero's ranked four by the WBA. You know, number one is technically vacant now. Uh, it even says official challenger vacant. Um, they only, like I was saying, they only elevated Thurman. You know, and it's not like this is just another number they gave him. Like, you know, went from one to official challenger or whatever. Uh, it went from one to champion. Without fighting anybody. But now the number one spot's still open. Because Thurman ain't there no more. So how come they didn't move everybody up? You know? I, I, wanna, I don't get it. Like uh, Technically Amir Khan is two, but one is open. How is your number one... Uh, the, the number one rated guy in your division. How is it open? Someone has to be number one. You know, the, I can understand like... Like the Ring Magazine having a ring champion, you know, nobody, because, you know, no one is the linear champ, but a sanctioning body just being like, oh, we don't even know who the number one guy is. That shit don't make sense, you know? I, I, I was just staring at this page and, like, confused. Like, what the fuck? Like, uh, what happens if Kell Brook goes and fights Keith Thurman and loses, and Keith Thurman gets his w IBF title, and then he's, you know, Thurman's WBA, IBF, so he's a unified WBA champ, which makes him super welterweight WBA champion, which is what Floyd Mayweather is, how can two guys have the same title, and it's possible, it's very possible, uh, if someone has an explanation on this, because, uh, me and Kent talked about it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just email every single, uh, address I have uh, for the WBA and ask every department the same question and I want to see if I get uh, the same answer from everybody or different answers from everybody or a couple, you know what I mean, you know, 
and we're gonna see we're gonna find out what they tell us on like well how did they you know decide um, um, to do this what was their criteria for this uh, can this happen in other divisions just why did this shit happen you know why not make it a vacant title fight with him and Guerrero no one would have complained about that it would have been I mean you might have got some complaints like with why but we would understand it because Thurman's you know the mandatory for the WBA belt but how can it even be for the vacant WBA uh, world championship when Floyd has that belt you know I mean I don't get it so even the vacant title shit vacant title fight don't make sense because Floyd has that belt you know he's only their super champion because he's unified with the WBC you know, but like I said, if Keith goes and unifies with, you know, Pacquiao or Kell Brook, likely to Kell Brook if anybody, um, then he'd be their super champion also. So someone please explain this shit to me. Thunderdome Boxing Talk. Uh, stay safe till next time. Peace.